Oh, uh, um, so I am uh, Rob Bob Baez, and I'm here with Bill Maloney. And our last topic for the day is we will be talking about your own Iona Gales basketball teams. So um, we're going to start with uh, the men's team. And uh, would you like to say anything? or? Well, first of all, I'd like to make an announcement that this weekend, Friday night, we have a big game at our own Heinz Athletic Center. We're finishing up our last game versus Manhattan, and I believe it's our last Friday night home game, one, one of the last games. And for those not familiar with the rivalry, the Iona versus Manhattan College rivalry is a very, very strong rivalry. It's like Duke, North Carolina, but for mid-major schools. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for, I, that, might, that might sound a little disrespectful, but no, 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 it is. no, no. But I mean, for mid-major schools, we both saw this article where it's the number four rivalry, and that's pretty good. And or you say like Georgetown, Syracuse, one, one of those. You, yeah, you Georgetown, know. Syracuse, Kansas, Kentucky, something like that. Okay, wait, uh, can, uh, or Kansas, Kansas State, you know? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it's it's a big deal, you know, and um, but I actually went to the last game, and the one at uh, Dratty and Dratty Bronx. Gymnasium, at Manhattan, and before I even talk about the uh, the game, getting to the game, it's ridiculous. Manhattan College, we're very privileged here to have a flat campus. Manhattan College, you gotta go up one hill, then you go left, then you have to go up another hill, make a right, another hill, whatever. I mean, it'll be a lot Consistently, easier. Consistently, they got steps. Every single place. And, I mean, I don't know how they were ranked as one of the better arenas in the MAC conference, Rob. <laughs> and I own a college, you know. I mean, I- I'll be honest, you know. Yeah, sure, I'd go here, but let, let, let's be honest. Our, our, you know, gymnasium, it's not, it's not amazing. You know, it, but, it's, Rob, it's but Rob, it has coziness written all over. It's yeah. like Lambeau Field. You know, the thing about I do like about Heinz Athletic Center is the fans are close, so it kind of feels yeah. like a Yeah, fans, like you know? fans are close. Fans are close. You know, like you have those banners. A pressurized situation. Yeah, and you have those banners right there. I mean, you know, a great to, history. They had to get rid of some because there was too many. So exactly. They, I mean, exactly. So they put all, all the, the titles on like one. one. But back to what I was saying. I think that one of the big differences in this game is going to be the element of playing at home. For Iona, we're undefeated at home, and thanks to all the Maroon Maniacs out there. And I mean, we'll, for we'll all of you that don't even realize that you are Maroon Maniacs, you are Maroon Maniacs. If you're listening, you know, if you go here, you're a Maroon Maniac. So. If you go to any of the games, you're a Maroon Maniac, unless you uh, support the other team. Which I, but, I doubt. I don't know why you would. But I think that in the last game, one of the problems for the Gales was that they got off very hot. Are you talking about the game against Manhattan? Yeah, okay. the, the game versus Manhattan. Okay. That they got off to a very hot start. But then, and and this tends to happen, where all of a sudden they get into streaks. They're a very streaky team where they'll give up a lot of points. They'll come back or whatever. And that's dangerous, especially if you're playing against a team that, you know, you beat with 25 seconds left by a three-pointer. And, you know, although A.J. English has ice in his veins from time to time, you know, I don't know if it's always going to be that icy. I mean, um, <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar. You didn't, I don't think you went to the last game, but against Monmouth. Huh? You tell me about that. That game, it, it was just... Oh, we only it, won by one, 6 It was an emotional roller course, let me tell you. Please the, do. Iona was losing 40-26 to 26 at halftime. They, they were just getting, you know, outplayed, you know, in every phase of the game. And then, uh, this has basically been indicative of this whole team. No. They were able to shoot the three in the second half, and then AJ English, you know, coming through in the clutch again, he was able to draw a foul and make the shot and get a three point play. The crowd went into an absolute frenzy, and you know that right there, ice water in his veins. He proves it once again, and Iona was able to come out with the win. Although for most of the game, they looked like they shouldn't even oh. have been there. That just proves now, the, the, now. the home court advantage that they have. Now we're we're regular season champions. Yeah. So I I don't know how Coach Clues wants to go about it. I guess they already have the number one seed locked up for the tournament up. I mean, you know, at times Union. But if I'm if I'm Coach Clues, I continue to play the team, continue to play the starters, especially this game. This is a very big game, and well, I, I f- well Pride would tell you to you know go out and play your hardest every game, which you should. But you know, strategically speaking, and you know how human bodies work, it'd be better to rest some. 
rest some of the players. Yeah, but, yeah, but we, we've already seen in previous instances in sports where if you have such a long layoff, where all of a sudden that fatigue is going to set in, the reverse fatigue of being active, all of a sudden it's like staying in bed too long. All of a sudden you get tired by just being tired. But, you know, I think it would help because... You know, Iona's not really a deep team. They don't have as many players. Well, well. And also, you, 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 Isaiah you, Williams is going to come back well, for yeah, the tournament. Well, yeah, that helps a little bit. But if you know, and you know, three, Isaiah Williams is one of the premier three-point shooters in the entire country. He he was one of the leaders last year. Yes, but as we had the most three-pointers in the entire nation. You know, if you look at the minutes, David Lowry and AJ English they play almost the entire game a lot of the time, and you know that might wear you know that might wear and, them down coming and, to the tournament. You know, you know, I I talk to Dave, the big man, every now and then, but and he he does complain, obviously, about the amount of playing basketball, the amount that it has on you, and you know he he's always in class and he talks about the ice baths and everything. So I do understand that, and but I do think that for this game, oh, for Manhattan, yes, they have for Manhattan, you have to play because if you lose that game. Then what's it going to do to the team morale? What's it going to do to your mindset? And also, you have to try to keep Manhattan and everyone else that you see as potential uh, teams that might take you out in this tournament. You have to keep them at as, as low a seat as possible so that they're playing other competitive teams and not advancing to the next round where they might face you. Um, we would like to... Congratulate Danica Martinez. Yes, yes. She on... became the all time. Oh, I'm sorry to cut you off there, but. No she problem. Became, Rob, you take it. <laughs> she became the all time leading scorer in MAC women's basketball history, so congrats to her. She definitely deserves it. I've seen her play, and let me tell you, she, she's hard to defend. That's just plain and simple, you know. So, you know, shouts out to her, you know. Uh, and uh, she's. I'm not sure if you've seen you or not, but, uh, you know, great season and a uh, great career at Iona. She's truly one of the greats here. Yeah, you know, this year, you know, basketball has dominated, but on the female aspect, on on the women's teams, we've seen Kate Avery bring home a national championship, and now yes. Danica Martinez with the record in uh, MAC women's basketball. And that's that's really awesome. And I hope that we continue it into the spring season with both baseball, softball, and women's lacrosse. Absolutely. Because that would really be a great... Great season here in New Rochelle. Absolutely. So, um, you know, obviously go Gales. Uh, we have ran out of time. So tune in next Tuesday at 1 p.m. This is Rob Babayas. And I'm Bill Maloney. And I will see y'all next Tuesday. God bless. Study hard. We know you got midterms coming up soon next week. Please get your student tickets. I believe they're giving out... Friday. 500 student tickets at 12:15 p.m. at Spelman Hall, and uh, make sure you get student tickets because it's gonna be packed. The game will most likely be sold out, and um, you get a free T-shirt if you, you're one of the first 300, 400, 400 people to get student tickets. And uh, besides that, God bless and go Gals. See you next Tuesday.